Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Divinity Original Sin 2. So we're going to just bypass this uh, guy. So we were coming this way, we couldn't get past the Shrieker. I just jumped down onto this ledge here, walked around it, and then got the teleportation point and now we're just going to leave it. Oh, we're not going to leave it, it's going to blow ourselves up. Never mind, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. That was just a little bit tense for a second there. What is that thing? I kind of want to see what that thing is, and I can't get to it. I'm pretty sure I can get to it. Carved from unfamiliar metal in an alien style, this mysterious object yet glows with a pulsating inner light that is familiar to you. The unmistakable brilliance of Source. So what does it do? Carved from unfamiliar... It's a source thing, but I don't know what it does. Oh, there's a treasure chest down there. It's called Dead Worker's Chest. Well, let's go down there. Oh, it's locked. Uh, Fane. No. I mean, it's probably fine. Uh, who has the other one? Ifan, do you have the other one? Okay. Oh. That was slightly underwhelming. Join those two up. Problem solved. Moving on. It's automatically saving for us. That's an uh, interesting sign. Here we go. Maybe there's going to be a fight. Uh, what was that? It's the sound of an earthquake. Not a good earthquake either. How big is this place? What's up there, I wonder? Let's go south first. This looks like a big room. I'm guessing south is just going to be some possible loot or like a small side zone. Or I could be wrong completely and it could be something very important. Like a couple magisters fighting voidlings. And a tablet. Oh, I got a new axe for Ifan, by the way. I went back to town briefly. It would appear that the uh, Silent Watchers and Magisters are losing this battle. Attack! Do something useful! Excuse me. So that magister's taking a pounding. Or silent watcher, I should say. Well, I guess I should help him out. I'm not going to engage directly unless I have to. And you can just guard the ladder and encourage the group. I'm ready. And haste pain. Well, there's an even higher point.
That must be the winged void woken. I'm guessing. Why would you use both magic and physical damage? That's silly. Focus on one. That silent watcher just got annihilated. What do I want to do? be as high up as possible. One dead. Good job. Way a good job. There we go. Now you guys are learning. Corpse are getting powered. Damage plus 30%, which is nice. I never use that, but it's good to have. That silent watcher might die. Okay. We only have one real shot this turn, so. We'll shoot the Vanberg one? Yeah. Probably the wisest choice. Good hit. That was a lot of Necrofire. And a dead Silent Watcher. Come on, let me get a tiny bit more blood. I don't think that, gonna, that would work now. That sucks, but oh well. Yes, you finished that one off, Silent Watcher. Also, you do a ton of damage. 450 damage a hit is pretty good. That was worth a shot. I didn't know if that was going to work. Oh, he's coming up here. Right into my melee. That's just silly. Why would you break my totem? Another Magister, another uh, Void Woken down. Finish that one off too. I actually don't know why I put that out there. Now I'm sure the Magister is going to have some words for us, which may end up in another fight. The Magister wipes his bloodied face with a grimy rag as he strides towards you. 
eyes narrowing with suspicion. He halts several feet away, one hand on the hilt of his weapon. That is not several feet away. He stopped like less than a, s a step away from me. He's actually inside my character model. So the answer to that is no, he did not do that. I hope we don't have to kill this guy, but we may have to. So let's get our people into position. Hope for the best plan for the worst. Although he is a magister scum, so. And you are. Salute and tell him you're a new recruit. Really? His face creases up in thought as he surveys the carnage all around. Turning back to look at you again, he shakes his head. Wait a minute. This is all just a little too convenient. I'm betting you're the reason these Void Woken are here at all. Sorcerer! Well, we tried. I wish your character wasn't inside my character. Damn it. I hate the clipping on this game sometimes. Oh, that's not good. Ow. Well, I guess we're fighting in melee, so I'm okay with this. Oh, it's burning arrows. That's fine. It'll be okay. Any other high points around we can go to? Not really good ones, I guess. I guess we're shooting from the low ground up. The enemy archer is a little bit worrisome. Or not. We for sure need a bone widow. With armor of frost. I have my own phoenix jump with no room to land. Okay. So let's see if we can move up a little bit and then hopefully phoenix jump a little bit farther. That'll do. Sorry, Gregory. We tried to get through this peaceably. Peacefully. Peaceably? There we go. But it's not going to work out that way, I think. Apparently that guy just doesn't want to join in the fight. It knows when it's dead. I'm ready. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Oh well. Goodbye, Gregory. We need to move closer. I can't move closer. We're gonna summon an incarnate. Oh, we're out of combat. Okay. Oh, some of us are out of combat. Some of us are still in combat. Well, I'm gonna go leave the body while I'm out of combat. Black shroud, an excavation log, a key. All sorts of good things. How far can I Phoenix jump from the top of here? The maximum range I can get. Can I Phoenix jump to you? Not quite. I guess that's about as close as I can get.
Now, if I recall, these guys, this guy shot like a crazy amount of damage. There is a ladder, and I think Incarnates can go up ladders. Yeah, they sure can. Although I don't think that ladder would support that 10 foot tall muscle demon. Guess you better start walking, Red Prince. It's a long way. I can almost make it there. Let's haste ourselves. So close. Why isn't it? Oh, it is involved in the combat now. Okay. Let's make sure the way this knockdown works. There we go. This fight's now pretty much over. Target is not too far. Maybe it is, I don't know. Let's just skip turns until... Really? Come on, FN. There we go. Alright, everyone group up. We survived and won. And there's a door that's locked. But I'm guessing it leads to this the key that we picked up leads to this area. Yes. Perfect. There's a gurnal. A chest. And a hidden door. There's a bow there. There's some source up there. And another little area. Oh, I see. We could have just walked up here. What's down there, I wonder, though? Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. An actual eternal memory bank. Damaged, certainly. But I wonder. What's an eternal memory bank? The stone bank? relic pulls on your consciousness. You feel the tendrils of an ancient hunger trespassing within your soul, seeking something, something you have. I'll touch the relic. As your fingertips brush the cool stone, you feel the depths of your being crack open. Your power flows from you into the relic, yet a reverse current flows back into you with a new power, a different power. A sharp electrical shock repels your hands from the stone and sends you staggering backwards. I don't know what happened. The stone relic pulls on your consciousness. You feel the tendril. Do we need more source, I guess, maybe? There's some mushrooms down there, but it doesn't look like there's anything else of note. There's a, oh, there's a chest up here. An overseer's chest. Do I have a key for it? Nope. Fair enough. Oh. Let's free the chicken. Oh, it's dead. Sorry, chicken. Alright, well, let's go loot the Void Woken and we'll see what this is. This looks like the tablet we needed. Maybe? Let's take a quick peek in the area, too. There is a spirit. A oh, spirit of Magister Gregory. Grimory. His name is Grimory. Apparently he wants to talk from beyond the grave. Folding his arms across his chest, the Magister stares at you with baleful eyes. One by one, he points at the dead Voidwoken, the dead Magisters, the dead Silent Watchers. Then, he points at you. Your end comes, Sorcerer. Just as it came for them. 
And for me, Friedemann guided the excavation rightly. Soon, Dallas will use the Aetirum on you. And then you will be the sorcerer no longer. What's an Aetirum? What are you talking about? He says nothing, only twists his lip bitterly as he echoes, pointing at the dead. Pointing at the dead, then pointing at you. Fine then. I'll go talk to the spirit of the Black Ring since it. We have a whole other side of this place the to explore too. In its madness, dances in your mind. You are sensate, deaf and mute, but gifted with an unnatural ability. Dallas seeks you out and brings you here into the darkness. When the blindfold falls, Dallas bids you find and free a secret power. You close your eyes and you feel the presence of a hidden truth. You point at it and open your eyes. You are pointing at Dallas. The hammer calmly bids you try again, then steps back into the shadows. You close your eyes once more. Now the vault before you sings to you. You raise your hand to it. It opens to your touch. From the vault, you take a sword. It's weightless, yet it feels extremely powerful. More powerful even than Dallas herself, and yet fragile. A hand falls upon your shoulder. A blade crosses your throat. Blood pours. Dallas whispers, good girl. And then all goes quickly dark. That sucks. The pedestal seems empty, as if it once supported something, something powerful. We surmise that this was once the resting place of the Eteran, until it was torn free and borne away. If this is what Dallas was looking for, then she has claimed her prize. Okay. Well. Nothing we can do about that yet. I thought this was going to be like the, uh, tablet area, but I guess not. Still, we got some sweet lore stuff going on. And we know that Dallas has something called the Eteran. Where? Oh, the tablet way down there, I see. Okay. It looks safe-ish. The tablet seems to glow from within with a subtle light. Etched runes cover its surface. The markings feel familiar. But you have no idea what they mean. Let's touch the tablet. Your fingertips burn so hot, it feels like they are melting. An energy seems to travel between the tablet and your hands, sparking knowledge directly into your mind, as if you are reading with your fingers. Electrical sensations sizzle in your mind. You understand that the runes are ancient Rivalonian, the oldest known language. You feel the fragments under your fingers. An An Lesru. You know not how. But you understand the meaning of these words with the very marrow of your being. One. One must rise. Then your fingers grow cold to the bone. Suddenly, you are just a person standing in a cavern, clinging to a stone tablet as if it were a life raft. That was some kind of test. I'm not really sure whether I passed or failed. The tablet is ice c Okay. Good find. The Eternal Plate. Don't know what it does. We did find a belt earlier. We, not a belt. Gloves? Gloves. We found a gloves earlier and a bow earlier. We should check what they are. Finesse, initiative, gloves. Um, I think they're worse, actually. We lose two wits. We lose 20 hit points to get... 30 armor. Yeah, no, not really worth it. Let's check the bow. More damage, plus one ranged atrophy, but it's missing accuracy. It misses dodge, it misses two finesse. I think our other one is better for now, anyways. Okay, uh, now what else do we need to do here? Level up, I guess. Finesse, wits. Get some more crit chance. Um, so she's maxed out on ranged, so she's gonna go with. More huntsman, I guess. And one more lucky charm.
We can't put any more into thievery. So he needs to start getting some sneaking. I guess. Summoning's maxed out. Necromancer is getting up there. We need to start getting some. We need to uh, diversify a little bit. We need more pyro. I think. Or no, hydro. We need hydro for healing. Yes. Good. And intelligence wits. Although I don't know if wits are very good for him, actually. Maybe I should drop his wits and put it just more into intelligence. I'll do that when we go back to the ship. Strength. Strength. Constitution. Like normal for him. Base 7. Base 6. Let's go base 8 warfare, I guess. And he is maxed out on bartering. So he is going to go sneaking as well, I think. Get all of our group a little bit better at sneaking. Persuasion's maxed out. Bartering is not really important for him right now, so sneaking as well, I guess. Two handed's maxed out. Warfare is at four. What else do we want to get in on? He's got one pyro. I'm almost tempted to give him some Geomancer as well. But let's max out Warfare first. He's base 5 now. And Strength. Crit. 1400 health. 2000 health. 1100 and 1100. Do I need to do this with you? The tablet seems to glow. Your fingertips burn so hot. Electrical sense you know not how. But you, then you'll think okay so nothing different okay let's get out of here or no, maybe it's Fane that said that your fingertips burn so hot looking down you feel a connection oh here we go stone a tether stretching back millennia you hear nothing but you can feel the screams then your fingers grow cold to the bone oh. suddenly then it just ends up being the same that being said we got dominate mind as a skill huh Cool. Time to wander off to the next area, I guess. So we've done this part. We have a long way back to go. Well, not really back to go, but here is where we're headed to. But that, I think, will be the next video. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.